The wonderful thing about art is that it's all about what you can do. It is that can-do attitude. I think I could draw before I could walk. That allows artist John Bramblett. Then while in college, I lost the eyesight, but my brain still knew how to draw. To create beautiful works of art. I paint every day. By feeling what he's painting. I make the colors feel different. I'm, I can mix different mediums with it. So I can make white feel like toothpaste or black feel like oil. And if you're a visually impaired artist, use your sense of touch to know, to be able to navigate a room or navigate a city. So on a canvas, you can feel the lines, you can feel where, where you've been, you can feel the shapes, and you can feel where, where you want the paint to go in. The Denton artist was commissioned by the city of Garland to create downtown's third mural since the fall announcement of the city's Bankhead Cultural Arts District. Bright colors, musicians, dancers, the theme, embracing the arts. Murals, murals would be a great way to connect. So whenever you combine art, which is all about what you can do and, and combine it with disability and messages and of it, it it's just it's just a wonderful combination what makes this mural even more special is its location the headquarters of visual aid volunteers a nonprofit dedicated to helping people with braille for over 60 years so in 1960 a group of volunteers in the city of garland um, some of whom were parents of visually impaired students came together and said we don't want to send our kids a way to go to school in Austin, which was the only opportunity for public education at the time. So they proposed a project with TEA and Garland ISD and said, we will provide all the Braille necessary if our kids can go to school in Garland ISD. So they started the pilot program. Um, you can see now that in all of the state of Texas, visually impaired students are welcomed in public schools, and that is because of the work of VAV. What you see in print, and we're creating it in a language that the student can read with their fingertips. Visual aid volunteers not only transcribes textbooks, but all kinds of braille materials. We had a, a school in Terrell reach out to us. They had a new visually impaired student come to their location and they said, could you create a map of our school building so the student can learn their way around with their hands before they're practicing in our actual space. Visual aid volunteers also transcribes art pieces like these to be displayed at the Eamon Carter Museum in Fort Worth. These pieces allow the visually impaired to experience the art along with everyone else. Like we have a dog. So you're there, they're, when they're feeling here, they're looking for, oh, the dog is in the boat. This one represents the water. So you can see the water here. And then this piece, to the a sighted person, you would notice that the clouds are different colors, symbolizing a storm rolling in. And so we have the different colored clouds in the key as well. We're so excited about the mural. We love it. We love it. Music is something that both the visually impaired and the sighted enjoy together. And then that he incorporated the word harmony on the side in Braille um, really draws draws your attention to the fact that music is for all of us and it's a uniting factor. In the near future, the city plans to install a plaque in Braille so the visually impaired can also experience the magic of the mural. So they'll be able to find the feature, the figure that is dancing and the figure that is playing the guitar and the figure that is singing. Uh, they'll be able to identify all of those by raised line and Braille identification. A mural is art that it's for the community, it's for people to live around and live next to. And it's a melody of color. Going up in Garland, I, you know, it's a, my artwork is going to, to live there is just something that I never would have imagined when I was a child while walking around the streets in Garland. It gives me a chance to be a voice made for, for people that have disabilities. I could not have planned it better. It's just the perfect, the perfect everything. For the city of Garland, I'm Saul Garza.